So uh, this video is going to show you how to get sleep paralysis, possibly tonight if you follow all these steps. And if it doesn't work the very first try, it's going to happen pretty soon. Trust me, if you do these things, it's only a matter of time. The key to entering sleep paralysis is to trick your brain into thinking you are asleep. And you can do this by using a 3000 IQ play that is proven to work. You might be wondering, why would you want to willingly paralyze yourself? Well, it's kind of like jailbreaking your phone. You're expanding the limits of what the device can do and unlocking entirely new areas. The only difference is your phone can be replaced and your brain can't. But uh, I'm not here to tell you what you should or should not do. These are the steps, follow them at your own risk. Let's get started. Step one, prepare. You can skip this step if you're already in bed, ready to go to sleep, but preparing for sleep paralysis will increase the chances of it happening. One way you can do this is by deliberately messing with your sleep schedule. Get up early in the morning, take an evening nap for about an hour or two, stay active for a while before going back to bed, and this should do the trick. Step 2. Set an alarm. Sleep paralysis can happen at any time, but it does occur more often in the middle of the night, during the REM stage of sleep. This is when you dream, and the reason you're paralyzed is so that you don't act out those dreams. Based on the dream, it could lead to some very awkward scenarios, so I'm glad the developers added this feature. Pull out your phone and set an alarm 4-6 to six hours after you normally fall asleep. Then, go to sleep. Step 3. Enter Sleep Paralysis It's now the middle of the night, you've destroyed your sleep schedule, your brain has no idea what's going on, and this is the perfect time to give yourself sleep paralysis. When you wake up, keep your mind busy for about 30 minutes. Don't use any technology like your phone, an iPad, a calculator, just read a book or something. When it's time, lie down on your back in a comfortable position and close your eyes. This is the best position to induce sleep paralysis, based on several studies done on the internet. You also want to have your limbs separated. If your arms and legs are touching, it will only make it harder. Next, you want to relax your body as much as possible. Focus on your breathing and imagine with every new breath the tension being released from your muscles. Step three and a half, wait. Yeah, so this is the hardest part where most people give up. If you can push through this, then I can assure you that one of these times you will experience sleep paralysis. In order to trick your brain into thinking your body is asleep, you need to lie still and resist all urges to move. Every time you feel an itch or an urge to scratch your eyelid, that is your brain sending signals to check if you are asleep. If you can ignore these signals for long enough, your brain will activate sleep mode and you will become paralyzed. To make sure you don't actually fall asleep, you need to be focusing your mind on something like your breathing. Once you get far enough, you may start seeing hallucinations behind your eyelids, hear strange sounds, or even feel sensations on your body. These are completely natural, so don't worry. If this happens, you are very close to entering sleep paralysis. Just stay calm and don't move. After a while, you might feel a tingling or vibrations surging throughout your body. Some people don't feel anything, but this is usually what happens to me and most others, and it means your body is entering sleep paralysis. Congratulations, you can no longer move. Now believe it or not, many people induce sleep paralysis on purpose like this all the time, because there is a major benefit, if you know what you're doing. Your body is now halfway in between the real world and a dream, and if you know a few simple steps, you can enter directly into a lucid dream within minutes or even seconds and start controlling anything you want. I made a video on this, it's in the description, so go check it out if you're interested. But yeah, this is how you get sleep paralysis. Of course there are many different ways, but if you follow these steps, you will be using one of the most effective methods and eventually it will work. If you enjoyed this video, smash like and subscribe to let me know. And of course, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and someone will help you out. That's it for today's video, good night and good luck.